in this one, Chris? Yeah, the best one I've ever had. Here's Chris having some lemonades. Hey everybody, one of the things we thought we would do is tell little stories and put two or three of them together uh, in a video. Um, some of them are funny, some of them are sad, some of them are just informative. Uh, but uh, they wouldn't make a 15 or 20 minute video, so we thought we would do, uh, would be some stories for you. So yesterday, I decided I was going to clean out the shed in the back of our property here. Um, there was quite a bit of yucky stuff and bottles and it was full of junk. unnecessary junk. Stuff. So I'm cleaning it out. Well, uh, I tell you, I was like, I'm, I'm afraid of mice, but I'm not afraid of snakes. I'm not afraid of geckos. But doing that cleaning in there, geckos were jumping out at me everywhere. I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty... I wasn't home. I was in, I was in alone at a bakery. <laughs> yeah, probably was. I was at the same time, yes. <laughs> I had the good job. Yeah. Anyway, it, I did get the uh, shed all cleared out, but... It took me longer than normal because uh, all these geckos were jumping out and freaking me right out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like there's geckos everywhere. Yeah. They're actually a little bit less than, than when we moved in. And uh, uh, the first time uh, uh, I was here was in June and there was a lot of geckos around. And I remember as I was falling asleep at night or trying to fall asleep and there's like a gecko on the ceiling and I'm thinking, is this gecko going to crawl over my body? <laughs> so I had to immediately go into Google and start researching geckos. And the first thing I found is they're very good luck. So I thought, oh, that's okay. And then I thought, and then I, and then I read, oh, they'll only come into your bed if you have bed bugs because they eat bugs. And I thought... Oh, I guess I'll find out whether this bed has bed bugs there's or no not. Bed but bugs. there's no bed bugs. <laughs> the geckos are really cute. You can either get, you know, get up every little crack and try and keep them out, but they go through the wiring and everything. So they're now our friends. We're at the point where we're going to start to name them. We're starting to recognize a few of them. <laughs> there's one big daddy. There was one big one in that shed. Yeah. And that scared the living bejesus out of me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So enjoy your geckos, everybody. It's part of the new adventure. Yep. Okay. Talk to you later. Yep. So one thing uh, about coming to Ecuador is everybody says you're going to drop the pounds. You're going to be like skinny mini next to nothing. Yep. We do lots of walking around here. Um, I've done five kilometer walk many times oh, from San Jose to alone. Yep. We have our yep. little step counters. We do anywhere from 16,000 to 20,000 steps in a day. Like we're just, everything was going great. Yeah. I was losing weight, you were losing weight. We you were. hardly need to use weight. I'm the one who needs to lose all the weight. So the problem with this whole thing we, it, we've plateaued. We, like, we yeah. can't lose any more weight. And, and why? Oh, because, I know why. Yes, we do know why now, don't we? Because in Alone, we discovered at least two bakeries. Well, two major bakeries. So if you're going to walk all that way, and you go in, and you walk by, and you smell that fantastic bread. And then you go in and say, oh, bread's not that bad. And you get some buns. But while you're looking at the buns, there's all these cookies. Cookies. We get these great big cookies in Alone yeah. Bakery. They are like so yummy. And uh, yeah, and cakes. You, yeah, and you get a whole bag. You give them like four or five dollars and you get all this change back. So we don't really know how much it costs, <laughs> but it's very, very cheap. <laughs> it usually seems that uh, we can get like maybe four cookies and... Uh, Maybe two things of bread, and it probably cost us a dollar, a dollar or fifty, yeah. or something, yeah, yeah. something so, like that. So to us, yeah, we have to like snack on those things. 
Smell really good. And then Chris found another bakery other than our fav favorite one. So now we have two favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the other reason we're not losing weight is I discovered one of my favorite foods since getting down here is that uh, that yogurt they have here. Mm -hmm. It is, it, what they basically do is it's all runny and it's cranked up with sugar. It's like having constant milkshakes right out of the fridge. Yeah. It's the, fantastic. The strawberry yogurt is like you pour it into a glass and it tastes just like strawberry milkshakes. Yeah. So yeah. perfect, we yeah. love it. Yeah, and I know some people are looking for what they have at home. Like, forget that, throw all that old stuff out. It's time to go in with the new folks. Yep. So that's why we're not losing weight. Yeah. Um, but we have no weight scale, so we don't know yet. Yes, our our crate hasn't come yet. So mm -hmm. when that does come, we'll have to update you whether or not we've gained or lost. But we're still going to the bakery. Okay, next story another time. <laughs> So today's story is about something that we've all seen videos about. They all say, do not keep your cell phone in your pockets because Ecuador has a lot of pickpocketers and before you know it, it's gone. So the, one day we were doing a little shopping in Montanita and um, after we were finished, we were in the TIA and Mike sometimes uses his cell phone when we're in there to put on there what this product actually says. The translation. The translation, yes. So um, after we're done the grocery shopping at Tia, we jump in the cab and we start heading towards home. Well, he went to go grab his cell phone and he pats his pants down and he, now he's freaking out. He's like, oh, I don't have my phone. I'm like, what? Where's I was your phone? freaking out. You were freaking out. I was out. in a sweat. I know. So he's like looking through his bag, he's looking on the floor, he's looking in his pocket. I get out my cell phone so I can find his location to see whereabouts it is. So it was, st it was still tracking. Whoever took yeah. it kept the phone on because we were able to track it. And yes. it was actually starting, it was right behind us at the TIA mm -hmm. after we left. And then it started following us. So they were going in the same direction we were. Yes. So the cab driver, he knows that there's an issue going on because I'm kind of like yelling at Mike and Mike's like yelling, I don't, I don't know. And I'm like, how can you put the cell phone in your pocket? Like how many times have we seen these yeah. videos? Yeah, she starts yelling at me. I am, I am so freaking out. I want to stop the taxi and yeah. go, go and, back and go find the phone. <laughs> Forget going home now. I'm, I'm after that phone. And I'm thinking it's long gone by now. So the cab driver's watching and he knows that something's up. I don't think he quite understands <laughs> English and knows what's going on. But he knows we're, we're freaking out. We're looking at the tracking device on my phone. To and find it's out following his, us. And it's following us. And he's like, oh, wait, it, it's now in alone. It's yeah. in alone. And I'm like, oh, it got there pretty quick. He's right behind us. So sure enough, Mike starts moving around because I'm like, you know, maybe you're sitting on it. <laughs> and sure enough, Mike moves around and right underneath his bum, the cell phone slid out of his pocket and onto the seat so he didn't lose it at all. So then I smack the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. And the cab driver starts laughing in hysterics because yeah, he knows yeah. exactly what just happened. Yeah. So, so the moral of the story is like the taxis, the back seats, they're slanted slightly like this. So if you have anything in your pockets, wearing shorts or something, which usually doesn't have long, deep pockets, it's going on that seat. And I don't know how many times we've looked in the Facebook groups and people say, oh, I've lost my phone, I've lost my, I lost my wallet in the taxi, and that's why. So be careful, and that's our story for today. <laughs> Bye.